So my filter is not working. That sucks. Do you guys know how to use the filters for life? I don't know why I can't get it to work. That sucks. I'm having a lot of technical difficulties today with live stream. I first did my live stream on Instagram and it didn't let me save the video. Um, so no one can rewatch it and they can't put it on YouTube or anything. And then YouTube won't let me do a live. Um, so I have no idea how many of you guys will actually watch this on Facebook, but I'm hoping that um, I can save this video and put it on YouTube. That would be amazing. So supposedly this is supposed to be the crown filter, but I don't see a crown. So that's messed up, Facebook. Now you guys get to see my non-filter red face. Yay. So I'm going live because um, I am talking about the cryptocurrency flash crash. What happened, you guys say, right? What the fuck happened, crypto goddess? Tell me. Oh, there's a couple of you on here. Hi, how are you? I have no idea if you guys are writing me or not because I'm terrible at um, live streams for Facebook. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna write crypto flash crash. And hopefully you guys can see it, I don't know. Hopefully I can see your comments too. So anyway, a lot of people are wondering what is going on? No one really knows 100% what causes what, um, but there is um, a pretty heavy indicator that um, the flash crash was based off a few events that happened this week. And one of them was Libra getting killed by Congress in court. Well, I don't know if you'd really call it court, but maybe a meeting with Congress this week. And um, there was a lot of archaic people in the room that do not really understand technology, definitely don't understand blockchain technology, um, don't understand Bitcoin at all, um, any form of cryptocurrency. Um, and they, were very strongly against Libra coin and everything that it represents. They were saying that Libra coin, um, there's no use for it because the US dollar is perfectly fine and it's dominating the world right now. So there's no use. Um, and the only people that aren't okay using the US dollar are criminals. So obviously they have no clue what they're talking about. They have no clue about crypto, no clue about Bitcoin, no clue about Libra. They don't understand how this will be helping the world. They don't understand how this will be helping um, the US economy. They assume that it's going to be used for bad and it's just super naive on their part. Um, so Mark Zuckerberg, you know, like him or not, was the smartest guy in that room and told Congress that um, it's important that the U.S. has a really strong crypto coin because China is about to come out with their own coin and we have to get ahead of this and if, especially if they want the U.S. to be the strong, have the strongest currency um you know, for a long, long time. You know, right now, the US dollar is the strongest. However, we don't know how long that will last. So it's always important to think ahead. And Mark Zuckerberg knows a lot about that, um, but the Congress does not. So that happened. And then they had um, some of their major partners back out of LibraCoin. They had American Express, MasterCard, PayPal, a bunch of major, major partners for Libra back out, scared. Um, so that crushed Libra coin. It super crushed Libra coin. 
and uh, it's potential that it could have hurt so bad it may not launch in 2020 as planned. We don't know. Um, Mark Zuckerberg is very determined to make LibraCoin work, so we'll see. But I think that him playing his case about making sure we have a powerful currency uh, to beat China is pretty powerful, and hopefully they took that to heart. Um, but anyway, a lot of people think that all cryptocurrencies like in the same bucket together, um, especially whales that are new to investing in cryptocurrency, they're maybe using a, a broker um, and a hedge fund um, to invest in cryptocurrency uh, and they don't know anything about it. So if, if their broker says the you know, Libra coin had bad, a bad week or bad news, uh, then they just assume to just take their money out and they act like it's a stock and it's not, it's a currency. So um, there's still just a lot of naivete in cryptocurrency, um, Bitcoin and the whole blockchain technology market. Um, most people just don't really 100% understand it. Um, so you have these big, big investors in it now and they didn't used to be in it, but they are now. And um, they just move quick when news happens and assume all crypto is in one bed together when it's absolutely not. Libra coin is completely separate coin and business model than Bitcoin. But you know, not all people are educated. So that's what the market is running on. It's running on uneducated people and it's a brand new technology and there's still a lot of people are unaware about what is going on and they just have to you know, rely on their broker or whatever to make decisions. So I'm pretty sure that was the main reason because right after news was released on how this meeting went with Congress and Facebook's Libra coin, um, that's when we experienced the flash crash in cryptocurrency. So it's pretty easy correlation, but there's other things that happened as well. Um, for example, um, Google just came out with a new supercomputer that is supposed to be the smartest computer ever invented and can um, make, uh, he can solve equations that have been taking years to solve in seconds. Um, and then it, people correlated Bitcoin or cryptocurrency as, you know, to maybe it'll, it'll make it unrelevant um, because the supercomputer could potentially beat it out. So some people might have made decisions to sell based on that. We don't know. It could be more likely Libra coin, but it could be. We don't know. And then, um, so there was a new China deal, a uh, China trade deal. And this is a good thing for most markets. You know, most people are really excited about this. However, you know, in a regular market, when something's good, sometimes it's not necessarily good for cryptocurrency and it's the opposite because when things are bad in the regular market, people want to jump to crypto and things are shaky in crypto, they jump to the regular market and vice versa. And speaking of that, um, some of us are starting to feel uh, the recession. Um, and I'll give you an example. I was just looking for places to live, um, hoping to get a house. And um, I was on Zillow, all the areas I was looking at, the markets are dropping. And, um, you know, so we're starting to feel it in real estate and we might start to feel it a lot more in other areas next year. Therefore, cryptocurrency will have an amazing year next year. So that's when you want to make sure that you are already in. So of course, now is the time to buy. And of course, with this, with this dip, it's an even better time to buy. So if you're a extremely wealthy person, you're usually pretty intelligent and you understand markets. So wealthy people want to own more cryptocurrency, more Bitcoin. So there's potentially a lot of manipulation going on and they want to accumulate more, 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 more. Um, during this dip, uh, I've had more people reach out to me about buying large amounts of Bitcoin. Um, one transaction, they wanna do five or a million every other week uh, for 12 months to a year or so. 
um, because it it's a good time f to buy a lot of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. So if you think like Warren Buffett and you think like wealthy, successful people that are well-read and educated, then you buy when blood is on the streets. So what do you do to make Bitcoin um, scary to sheep and regular people is you try to manipulate it. So, and it's an extremely easy, manipulatable market, very low market cap compared to other markets. So if they sell $500 million worth and it will scare so many people and it will, you know, obviously lower the price and then they can buy more at a lower price. And they want to keep doing this as much as they can until it really takes off when the recession hits. So, you know, you have to think like the rich. You have to get out of poor mindsets and buy when blood in the streets, just like Warren Buffett did, you know, when the last huge recession hit, 2008, 2009, Bank of America tanked. Everyone thought it would die. Warren Buffett said, no way, it's a great time to buy. He did, he made a ton of money. So if you think like that, this is an opportunity and it's not bad. Um, volume surged on BACT uh, yesterday during the flash crash, but BACT is still um, just really small trading volumes at this point. I think today it was like two Bitcoin or something. So, you know, it's not too big of a deal, but it does show you that money is to be made no matter what market, no matter what's going on. You know, volatility is sometimes an amazing thing with traders. So it all just depends on your perception of what you think is, you know, happening to you during a flash crash. Um, and I don't, also, uh, CBOE um, had futures. I don't know if you guys remember that. They closed it down last year. But when futures first started, it really screwed up the market. Um, but there just wasn't enough interest in it. So they ended that. Um, and back to showing that there's still really low interest. So it just goes to show you that um, manipulating the market, there's still a low interest in the futures. So it's less, it's taking less of a correction than it happened when it first was introduced after Bitcoin hit $20,000. But it's still happening um, in a different way, you know, by investors selling a huge amount and then rebuying at a lower amount. So anyway, I just want you guys to know that um, it's always an opportunity. There's always an opportunity to make money. If you get sick with the super highs and the super lows and you want to make money consistently, then I have a really great recommendation. You can make 10 to 15% passively and residually um, with a system that I use. We make 10 to 15% monthly and we get paid every Friday. Um, I've been doing this for more than a couple of years. I know the owner directly. I did an interview with him. It's on my YouTube. Um, you can send me a message. I'm happy to tell you about it. And um, this is the only, the only money I can like 100% rely on every Friday. It's going to be there no matter what. Um, all the other money as an entrepreneur, I cannot rely on. I cannot rely on how much my online jewelry store will make them. By the way, I just started an online jewelry store, all ice on me dot shop. We have really, really high quality, if you can see that, jewelry for a really, really great price. I am uh, raising the prices because I've been told that for the quality it is, the prices are too low by pretty much everybody. So right now everything's on clearance until I can get to every product in hand you know, raise the price. It takes me some time, so you have a little bit of time to get some jewelry at really crazy low prices. Uh, so it's a good time before Christmas to stock up. And I even have cell phone accessories. I have those cute cases that cover your AirPods. AirPods, if you have those AirPods that go in your ears. I have really cute cases, like perfume bottle case or like a dog case. Um, like a leather, really nice one, a glow in the dark one, really cool stuff. So I have all that on all ice on me dot shop. Um, so anyway, I can't rely on that because it's always different and I can't rely on, um, how much I make with social media. It's just, it's all over the place. So the only income I can rely on is this system in crypto because they use arbitrage trading. And if I don't, I don't know if you know about arbitrage trading, if you don't, I'll tell you really quickly. 
Um, there's thousands of exchanges all over the world, and sometimes there's price discrepancies. For example, one may say Bitcoin is 7,300, and another one says it's 7,200, and we trade with a bot based on, on that, and um, we make really good money. Uh, so we consistently get 10 to 15%, no matter what's going on in the market. If it's a bad bear market, I typically make 10%, and I can rely on at least 10% return of investment monthly, and every Friday, I can rely on this money coming in for sure. So I can help people with that. Um, I, there's also a system I can help people with where we help people learn how to trade. Not only do we teach people how to trade, but we have live streams every day where we help you to know what to purchase every day based on the entire team's knowledge of what's going on in the market. Because if you're a good trader, you can't just know about crypto, you have to know about um, what's going on with oil, what's going on with the Trump administration, the China trade wars, et cetera, et cetera. You have to know everything. So um, we know my team especially are really good at it. They've been trading for 10 years. They live off their training money. Um, they know what's going on every day in the market. They're up at 4 a.m. learning and reading what's going on in the market so they can make their best decisions as to where to make money. So they tell you and suggest how to make money and then teach you how to do it yourself. So I, I help people with that. Let me know if you want to learn more about that. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, if I don't get to it now, if you watch this in the re rerun, then you can ask me questions. Maybe I'll make a different video. Um, but I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, hi, mom. I see you. I love you. <laughs> Some of my... Biggest tree leaders are on here. I love you guys. T. Hi, baby. Thanks so much for joining me. And um, I hope that I was able to answer any questions you may have about the flash crash that we experienced this week. But always in Bitcoin, since it's been around for ever, over 10 years, um, know that um, it's always going up and down. <laughs> so just not freak out. All right, you guys have an amazing night and talk to you soon. Bye.